Lee Jan's Angelica Sanchez is live in Elk Grove Village where she spoke with a member of the woman's family. Angelica. That's right, guys. I spoke with a man who says he is the victim's son. You can see a growing memorial over my shoulder for the woman that was killed in this crash. Detectives now say that the other vehicle involved in this crash ran a red light. The village of Elk Grove community is eager to learn what led to a horrific crash at the intersection of Beasterfield and Meacham Road. It doesn't happen much around here, so it's always a little shocking when we see that on the news. We've learned a mother on her way home from work was killed in the crash. It happened Tuesday just before midnight. The impact so great it ripped the engine out of the Honda SUV she was driving. The last update from investigators says the crash involved a Lexus traveling northbound. It was occupied by one adult and three juveniles. They say the Lexus disobeyed a red traffic signal at the intersection. The roadway was blocked throughout the night and was reopened Wednesday morning. I saw the, the hearts and the balloons and everything. It's heartbreaking. So sorry for them. A memorial has gone up in memory of the mother killed. Her son telling us off camera loved ones are still waiting to learn more information from police. For now, we know the occupants of the Lexus were taken to local hospitals for non-life threatening injuries. Police say they were treated and released. I guess I would want to know what happened, you know, just because you re really don't get that here much. So it'd be kind of nice to know at least for closure, at least for the family, you know, what happened. Now, the crash remains under investigation by the Elk Grove Village Police Department. They say a special team has been working through the night to reconstruct the crash and that they are still collecting video and forensic evidence in this investigation. For now, reporting live in Elk Grove, Angelica Sanchez, WGN News.